What's up guys, nice to see you again. It's A Fitness and apologies for the kettle in the background because it's just boiling. So today this video is going to be a walkthrough of my bench and my military press strength session with some hypertrophy at the end. I'm going to take you through an epic post-workout meal and then a review on an item I purchased recently which you'll find very helpful. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. So what's up fitness fanatics? Okay that was pretty shocking. Alright guys, checking back in with a bench press and a seated military smith machine press workout. First of all I'm going to take you through the whole workout that I did today and then I want to move on to a topic which is non-linear progression in bodybuilding which I'll explain more soon. So to start off the workout, I did five sets of three on the bench press with 76 kilograms. And I know that probably seems very light to others and that I should be lifting heavier. But unfortunately, in my first year of lifting, I was quite apprehensive of using a barbell bench and I just stuck to dumbbells. But I assure you now, I'm going to be barbell benching three times a week and I want to bring up my strength in my bench press as well as the size of my chest during this lean bulk phase. After that I then moved on to Smith Machine military press for 5 sets of 3 with 22.5 kilos it was supposed to be but unfortunately I don't know about this day I was just feeling under the weather I think so I had to drop the weight. Then after these strength sets I take usually around 90 seconds to two minutes possibly even two and a half minutes rest between because I want to live as heavy as possible for the desired amount of reps and then after that I move on to some hypertrophy work so I started off with four sets of incline dumbbell press but only on a very slight incline as I don't want to bring in too much front delt and then I moved on to four sets of cable flies supersetted with four sets of rear delt flies and then to end off the workout, I did four sets of tricep pushdowns and then did four sets of abs where I did some leg raises, but I couldn't film this in the gym because it was just so crowded in that part of the gym. Now I'm going to move on to the topic of non-linear progression in bodybuilding. Because at the start of the week, I did was planning to do five sets of four with 75 kilograms on the bench press. And... During, I'll just take you through the all five sets. So I got four reps in the first set, four reps in the second set, then three, then two, and I had to drop it to 72.5 where I got another three reps there. So that was still a PR with me for me with 75 kilograms. So I thought 76 kilograms of five sets of three would be pretty easy on this day, but for some reason I felt fine when I was warming up, but then only I got three reps on the first set then two reps on the second set and you saw I failed after two reps and then I had to just drop the weight after that to 73.5 kilograms for three sets of three. So I was pretty disappointed with that actually. But then, but today when I'm doing this commentary, it's Friday the 21st of November and I actually got six sets of two with 77.5 kilograms and I think I'm gonna up the weight to 80 kilograms next week. So I'm just saying that progression is always non-linear. You will have bad days and good days, but as long as you always push yourself each session, then that's good. Just come back from my bench press and my shoulder press workout with some hypertrophy at the end, of course. 
and this is my favourite time of the day, it's post-workout meal time and I've planned something epic. So not the best of formations, but I've got some toast here, whole meal from Tesco. I've got bacon, sausages, tomato, egg, beans, obviously I'm going to put them into the microwave, not eat them out the can. Some olive oil, because I'm planning to do some fried bread. Some fry light. Guess what I'm having? I'm having the best bulking fry up. So I'm going to cook all this and then I'll show you what the end product looks like. Enjoy. One thing I've learned recently is that on packets they usually put, say for example you have a slice of toast, it says approximately 36 grams for a slice. Well in this case it's 36 grams for a slice of this. And they say the calorie count on it. So just out of interest, I weighed three slices, so that should equal 108 grams, and it actually came to 100. You don't want to weigh it out all the time, but if you want to get a certain amount of calories a day, you might want to consider weighing out things from the packet just so it's accurate. Mm -hmm. I told you this was my favourite time of the day, and this is why. Basically here, I weighed out 15 millilitres of extra virgin olive oil and then put some bread in it so I've made some fried bread got some just normal bread to mop up the beans when I've finished tomatoes oh why is the bell gone sorry about that an egg bacon and I've got two sausages under there also here I've got 20 grams of ketchup so you think how on earth am I going to fit this into my macros a meal like this all you do is make sure you weigh out everything and then plug it into my fitness pal because you know I'm a believer in if it fits your macros because you can enjoy flexible dieting and enjoy meals like this so I'll show you the macros for this meal and because it's post workout it's a very high calorie so it's 998 calories 95 carb 32 fat 65 protein see you in a bit this is the product I was telling you about that I bought recently and it's the My Protein Liquid Chalk. Usually at my gym I go to close to my home. It has a hardcore gym section so I'm able to use a chalk ball that I have which you pat onto your hands and then chalk comes out which is actually very effective and it's lasted me for months and months. Whereas this chalk I'm not sure how long this is going to last me. But what happens is that chalk gets everywhere on me and it's very messy around on the floor and on the weights. So I can't use it in the commercial gym I go to when I commute to uni. So this will be very helpful. It says it's highly effective liquid chalk to help increase grip and reduce sweating. And the liquid format does not transfer to clothing and it provides a more convenient format to traditional solid chalk. So basically all you do is you shake it up vigorously and then you place... I'll put a little bit on my hands for you guys. So for some reason I couldn't actually use this squeezy bit so I've just taken the lid off. So I'm going to put some on my hands for you guys just to show you what it actually does. So you see it on my hands then you rub it over. As you can see guys I didn't put much on and you can see how much it's gone all over my hands and it hasn't even gone over my clothes either. So definitely recommend buying this product guys. Give it a try. Thanks for checking out this video guys. Hope you enjoyed it, leave me some feedback in the comment section below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Have a good day guys, and I'll see you in the next video. And keep making gains.